Uh, UPDF has again launched artillery strikes on ADF rebel camps in Ituri, that is uh, inside the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yes, UPDF is back in action and uh, they have uh, launched another phase of strikes on uh, these ADF rebel camps right there in uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm going to be giving you the details about this one, so just stand by for that story. In other news, Uganda has been accused of hiding rebels in the refugee camps and uh, I'm going to be telling you which country has accused Uganda of hiding rebels in the refugee camps subscribe to the buzz ug just in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications now, sources have revealed that um, UPDF artillery strikes targeting ADF camps were launched on Tuesday. That was uh, yesterday morning and uh, they expect many casualties in their camps like it was during the first attack. Now, the commander land forces, that is um, Lieutenant General Mohozi Kainerugaba, uh, who is also the first son, uh, he actually tweeted yesterday confirming the artillery attack on uh, ADF camps in Ituri. And uh, the UPDF Operation Shuja commander, that is uh, Major General Kayanja Mohanga, Ali in January, uh, he announced that um, they were planning to launch a second phase of the offensive against the ADF in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, addressing journalists from uh, Bundibujo, uh, shortly after you know visiting Camp Yayu, the main camp UPDF captured from uh, ADF, Muhanga said, we have now transited into a second phase uh, where we will pursue the ADF rebels by foot. And uh, he also said that um, uh, the documents that they discovered by the joint forces indicate that uh, Cambia you had uh, 624 fighters and uh, its destruction was a clear setback uh, to the ADF rebels. Yes, so uh, that is the latest from uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, UPDF is back in action and uh, they have started again attacking these ADF rebels right there in Ituri, that is inside the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, in other news, uh, I told you that Uganda has been accused of uh, hiding rebels in the refugee camps and uh, we have been accused by South Sudan, our neighbor here. Yes, they are accusing us of uh, hiding rebels in uh, the camps right there in uh, the northern Uganda. Now, during an official meeting between uh, South Sudan officials and uh, Ugandan military officials that was in Moyo Town Castle in northern Uganda, uh, these officers from uh, South Sudan revealed that uh, about 4,000 rebels are uh, hiding in uh, the refugee camps right here in Uganda and uh, they called upon Ugandan government to take quick action in making sure that uh, these rebels are out of uh, the refugee camps. This is not the first time Uganda is being accused of hiding rebels. Apparently uh, one of the reasons why Ugandan government is not in good terms with uh, the Rwandan government is because Rwanda accuses Uganda of hiding Rwandan rebels that want to take power the other side of Rwanda. Uh, so really, I don't know why Uganda we are always pointed at as the ones hiding uh, rebels, but uh, yeah, that is the latest from uh, South Sudan and uh, they have actually warned Ugandan government that um, if they don't do enough investigations and uh, flash out all these rebels in the refugee camps, then our relationship with uh, South Sudan is going to be like uh, Rwanda. And uh, we could see the Uganda-South Sudan border closed, you know, just like Rwanda-Uganda border was closed. Yes, so uh, let's hope that uh, the government of Uganda has noted everything that uh, South Sudan is talking about and we hope that uh, they are going to do something about it. Yes, yeah, So that is the latest from uh, South Sudan and of course I'll keep you posted on all these stories happening right here. What you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG just in case you haven't and uh, tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.